ladies and gentlemen, the one and only world famous PC Shankar. Let's move on to something magical. Something big. Shankar, these are older days. Can you show us more modern? Something big to small, maybe without hiding? <laughs> Without hiding. What is this? A computer. Where did it go? But how can we trust it works? Hmm. Well, to answer that, I have to perform my ultimate trick. Abracadabra! Take shot, my friend! What's up, guys? Section back with another video. Here I have with me the Acer Aspy PC Stick. This is a full computer in its smallest form. In this video, I'm going to do a quick unboxing and review and let you guys know what this has to offer and who or why you should choose the Acer PC Stick. So, let's get started. So here's the box, a manual, the stick PC itself, wow that's small, a charger adapter, a micro USB to OTG cable, a HDMI extension cable, so that's about the box. Also we get this nice wireless keyboard and mouse free with the package which you can use to interface with the stick. Alright so here's the stick. It is amazing to see that a full Windows PC is inside such a small form factor which fits in your pocket and is light in weight. On the top we have the Acer branding and some air vents which have fans underneath it and a LED notification. Here we have the HDMI connector. On this side the power button, a micro USB power slot where you have to connect your power adapter to drive power. If your TV has a USB 5V slot, then you can use a micro USB uh, cable to drive proper from that slot. So you don't have to use a separate adapter. Here we have a standard USB 2 port. Other side we have one more ventilation opening. A micro USB 2 slot which you can you know connect accessories or even a pen drive using the OTG cable. And finally the micro SD card slot for expanding storage. The device also supports Bluetooth 4.0 so you can connect your Bluetooth devices such as speakers, keyboard, mouse, whatever it is and also it comes with inbuilt Wi-Fi. All you need is a television or technically a display that has an HDMI port and this can convert that into a full computer. Yes, a full computer. Here I have with me a 24 inch LED television. This is a normal TV, not a smart TV. I'm going to connect this into this and convert it into a full computer. Without further talking, let's go ahead. This goes directly into the HDMI port of the TV. For convenience, I'm going to use the extension cable that was provided with the box. So once you do that, make sure you change your input source on your TV to the connected one and then you have a full-fledged computer that's waiting for you to use. Let's jump to how it performs and what all you can do with it. First up is the performance. The Acer Aspire Stick PC is powered by an Intel Atom Quad-Core chip. It's a 1.3 GHz chip bundled with Intel HD graphics and 2 GB DDR3 RAM. It has a full version of Windows 10 32-bit Home Edition preloaded. Given the specs, you must understand that we are not talking about a high-end configuration here. 
All you do is plug this in your television's HDMI port and voila, you have a full usable Windows 10 computer in front of you, which is more than enough if you're an average computer user doing browsing, chatting, social media, watching videos, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. It handles everyday tasks with ease and is snappy. But that does not mean it can be used for high-end work such as video editing, etc. So let's not get in-depth into that. When you open multiple applications, minor lags here and there are evident because of its low RAM. Overall, if you ask me on the performance part, it is a decent performer and can handle your everyday tasks with ease. Another use that I can see with the stick is that you can convert your normal boring TV into a smart TV. You got the Windows App Store up there where you can you know, download apps, games, whatever it is. I've been using the stick PC for almost a week and it did surprise me. Streaming content over Wi-Fi was also good and I did not face any lags. Video playback was good. Audio output happens via the TV speakers or any Bluetooth speaker you connect to it. Next up is the storage. It comes with inbuilt 32 GB flash storage which on first boot you get around 21 GB free. However, the best part is you can expand up to 120 GB using a micro SD card. Also it supports OTG and the box has the OTG cable so you can connect your external drives or pen drives to share files just like you would do with a normal PC. Next is the gaming performance, you know this I had to test for all you curious folks out there. <laughs> I did try playing some medium and graphic games from the Windows App Store and I was surprised by how well it could handle it. Games such as Modern Combat, as for Late Run pretty well, I was able to you know play with no problems. However, note that this is not meant for high-end gaming and don't think about running GTA 5 on this. <laughs> Here is Asphalt 8. Asphalt 8? In the small screen? Nah, let's try it in the big screen. Guys, now the computer stick is connected to my uh, 55 inch Samsung 4K TV. So we're going to try Asphalt 8 in this. And yeah, this is a controller. It's a USB controller which you can connect and also use. So far, but at times you know you do experience some kind of frame drops, so that's fine as long as it's stable. Most asked question, since it is this small, does this get heated on prolonged use or can you use it for a longer duration? Well, I've been using it every day for around 4 hours continuously and I did not face any major heating issues or you know hiccups. The stick has enough ventilation vents to let the heat out and also it does not make any noise. Sweet! Treat this like a normal home PC. Next is the pricing. It is priced at around $6,999 in a few online shopping sites and even less in some. I should say it is decent given the fact a full version of Windows itself costs more. To add to it, you get these wireless keyboard and mouse free. So you tell me, isn't the pricing very impressive? Now let's get to what could have been better. Given its price and how well it works, it does what it commits. I'm very happy with that. The only thing that cuts the line for me is the lack of a USB 3 slot inbuilt or an additional USB slot for connecting more devices. But that I can always overcome by using a USB hub such as this. Overall, a good PC stick for your everyday basic use. It's a plug and play device. Connect, switch the input source on your TV and you're all started. If you are a person who travels a lot and want a portable solution, then this is something you can consider. Let's assume you stay out and all hotels have TVs, the rest you know what to do. <laughs> also will be useful at offices or commercial establishments as a space saving solution. So yeah, go ahead and consider this if you are looking for an ultra portable full computer. Yes, it's a full computer in your pocket. If you have any questions about this product, do post them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and hope you now believe in my magic. Yes, we do. Sean Card, can you help me with something? With what? 
Ah, that is beyond my power. But these guys can help you with that. Guys, go ahead and click the subscribe button and stay tuned for something more magical. Go ahead.